When Wilbur and Orville Wright were kids, their fascination with flight started when their dad brought home a rubber band powered toy flying machine. Of course, they were far from creating the real thing. Neither brother received a high school diploma. Wilbur finished school and moved away before getting his diploma, and Orville dropped out to start a family printing press. After that, the Wright brothers started a family bicycle business. Finally, they constructed the first ever airplane, the gravity-defying Wright Flyer. Using their own wind tunnels and a lot of determination, they were able to create a machine capable of flying and moving along the three rotational axes. Since Orville won the coin toss, he was the first brother airborne. Immediately, newspapers across the country picked up the story and everyone knew what these brothers had created. After that first day of flight, a strong gust of wind broke the light flyer and it never left the ground again. But they created more planes and marketed them to the military. The first major war planes were used in was World War I, only 11 years after their invention. Nine years after the historic first flight, Wilbur Wright died of typhoid fever. Although, his brother lived from the first flight all the way until the first supersonic flight. Who would have thought that their little airplane would have set the stage for things like the supersonic passenger Concorde? Thanks to them, we can go anywhere on the planet at 500 miles per hour within at least two flights. Now flight is one of the biggest industries in the world, creating jobs and making hundreds and hundreds of millions, wait no, billions of dollars each year. I think it's fairly obvious why they're heroes. They helped us win wars, they helped the economy, and they changed the earth forever. Plus, everyone knows that there's just something inspirational about Dayton underdogs making it to the top. Yeah. Yell into this microphone, Pipey. Yell. <laughs>